William Shakespeare, spelt S-H-A-K-E-S-P-E-R-E. I may have missed out an A, doesn't matter because I spell it differently every time. Stratford upon Avon. My dad was a bailiff and an alderman, which is actually one step down from being a mayor, so uh, it's, it's kind of a big deal. I don't know, school's rubbish. I mean, all you do is learn about dead people from hundreds of years ago. Am I right? Said all the kids with me. Yeah, 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 nice question. That would be uh, one of my later plays, um, All Is True. Uh, it, it, it brought the house down, literally. A uh, cannon went off and the theater burned down, so. Wicked. Uh, well, when London gets a bit plaguey, I sort of head on home to the crib in Stratford-upon-Avon. Um, a lot of people think that I go to um, Italy and Denmark because that's where my plays are set. But I just learned about them, at, you know, at school and books. But I'd love to go. Yeah, I'd love to go. Uh, well, I've lived through two monarchs, um, Queen Elizabeth I and King James I of England. Um, he did give my troop a royal patronage, so I'll, I'll, I'll say him. He's watching this, right? Yeah. The answer is, one word, rough. Rough, in case that wasn't clear. Rough. Elizabeth, that's it, simple. If you want to get specific, Queen of England and Ireland. But... Well, uh, ruling over a golden age of English history, uh, defeating the Armada, thriving Protestantism, great theatre, sending out sailors all over the world to go exploring, so I don't know, you take your pick. Good heavens, no! Now, why would I do something like that when I've got Drake and Rally to go exploring for me, hmm? Much safer here. Um, wow, well, anything, really, so long as I'm the most fabulous looking person in the room. I actually once had a woman thrown out of court for wearing a prettier dress than me. <laughs> yep, that dress is my wardrobe right now, actually. What a terribly rude question. I don't need a husband. I'm married to England. And you know what? England doesn't leave the toilet seat up. So, take that. Executing my cousin, Mary, Queen of Scots. Yes, I did sign the death warrant for her, but I didn't want them to actually go ahead with it. <laughs> Oops. Ah, uh, you know, I love marzipan, but anything with sugar will do. Why else do you think my teeth are this wonderful shade of black? Charles John Huffman Dickens. My middle names are from my father and godfather. I was born in Portsmouth. Then my father moved us to Chatham in Kent and then to Camden in London. Well, not for me. I wasn't allowed to play sports as a child. I was too sickly. I ended up playing make-believe. I had to leave school as a child to work in a factory sticking labels on bottles after my parents were sent to prison. So let's say five. Yes, four of my siblings were sent to prison with my parents. David Copperfield reminds me of my own childhood. I actually tried to become an actor before I went into writing, but I missed an audition after I caught a cold. Their loss, if you ask me. The coolest thing I've ever done, that would have to be the ice cold shower I had installed in my home in London, the first of its kind in the country, it was so powerful they nicknamed it the Demon.